Right, g'day. Welcome to my post-race report. Uh, unfortunately, leading up to this race, after Raby Bay's success, I managed to tear my calf um, the Sunday following Raby Bay. Uh, it was a small tear in the head of the gastrox. Uh, I took a week off just juicing, cleansing, repairing the body, yoga, meditation. Healed that within a week. Um, was able to walk again by Wednesday, full movement Friday, and then felt 100% Sunday. Put it through a little good, a good little test, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with easy swim, easy bike, easy run on the, those days. Had the next three days off just with birthday stuff. Um, just a lot going on. I figured I'd only be doing easy recovery sessions anyway, so that didn't really phase me. Came back. Monday, straight back in the swing of things, gym session after a swim. It's pretty cooked after that because it's been so long since I've been able to do a gym session because I've had so much consecutive racing and I don't do gym the week of or the week after a race. Uh, so it's been a good solid six to eight weeks without any gym work. Jumped straight back in, same weights as I was before. I felt really strong during the session. Monday night though, I felt it. Tuesday, I had uh, four hill reps, it's a good solid hit on the bike and then run off with five little hill sprints in it. Uh, I was pretty done by that stage. Legs weren't working well, everything was so sore, for, tired, fatigued. Figured I'd be right, spent some time in at P3. Uh, Wednesday morning I did a track session as seven 800s, building 320 pace. I uh, felt pretty sore after that, um, but usually I would have done some yoga, some Wim Hof, breath work, um, gone into the, the gym um, and done my PT work that I do. But I decided to go hang with friends instead, so straight after my run, finished the run, drove to the beach. Uh, I think hopping in the car straight after a run is not a good idea because the legs get very sore and tired. Got there, hung out with them, then went to PT. Um, no regrets. Went to the beach after that. Uh, I was going to race Wednesday Worlds as I usually do, but I was just so sore, tired and fatigued. I decided it was best to have that day off and try again Thursday. Um, I woke up Thursday at 3.30 when the alarm went off and was like, nah. I was so sore, I thought I'd redone my calf, but I hadn't, it was just tight. Everything was tight. My hamstrings were burning. Glutes, hips, everything was so fatigued. Uh, so I had the day off. Figured I'd recover because I knew that if I couldn't go hard, there's no point of doing that session. It's a hard session. It's that brick, so a 4K ride, 1K run. Pretty much max effort, max sustainable effort, followed by a little gym session, yoga, and a swim session. I thought I'd do the swim session, but the day just disappeared on me. Friday morning I got up, did an 8K tempo, uh, 11K run all up. Finished that feeling pretty tight. I thought I'd redone my calf. My hammies weren't um, stretching all the way. Couldn't lock my knee out. And was like, I've redone it. I've tore everything on my backside of my legs. Uh, I had swim after that in the ocean which was pretty fun but i couldn't actually run or in or out of the water so i knew something was wrong my calves weren't working i couldn't flex release they were just locked um so i just nursed it through that then the weekend came uh it was such a scorcher with 31 knot uh northerly winds and i would have had a 60k headwind like 60 k's heading north on the bike in the heat with a headwind and I was like nah my body's already soft tired and fatigued I'm having that session off but I figured it was best to just recover again have another day off because I was so sore from the previous day um, and then following that day Sunday I had to get up at 3 a.m. if I wanted to run at anything below 30 degrees and less than 100% humidity because it was just such a hot weekend. I don't do well in the heat and I knew that having such sore, tired, fatigued muscles after coming back from a torn muscle just two weeks ago, I couldn't overstress stress my body. Um, 
So I took another day off, um, just let the body recover, stretched, just hung out with friends, chilled, enjoyed the other things in life. Came back in Monday as taper week. All of a sudden we're ready to race. I haven't put a solid week together since five weeks prior and figured, yeah, nah, she'll be right. I'll be good to race. She wasn't right, but we'll get to that. So Monday I had swim session a um, couple PT clients, then a little gym session, which is like what I usually do on a Thursday, my mobility stuff, just working the hips, knees, ankles, and shoulder joints, making sure they're all flowing well. Did some yoga, spent lots of time in at P3. Tuesday, I, instead of doing strength work on the bike, I went and did four little hill sprints, followed by four little run hill sprints. Um, really nursed the run didn't full send on the hill sprints either just pick the cadence up above 180 just kind of test the calf see what it was at tested the hammies because turns out actually i had osteo monday um and i'd strained both hamstrings at the head of the hamstring up at the glute attachment so that was great just come back from a calf tear strained my hamstrings but nursed it through got the session done um went for a swim felt pretty good enjoying the water. Wednesday morning, had a track session. I just did four 800s as a 320 build, where I'd usually do four 1Ks race week, building th two 320 and then 200 meters sprint finish, just to get me race ready, get speed in the legs. But I was pretty tired, fatigued, sore, didn't want to overdo it race week, wanted to make sure I could actually race. Even though I feel like if you're not certain enough to push, put through a normal training session, you shouldn't race. I probably should have known that. And I guess just the battles in here were going on and I decided, nah, I'll race even though I'm not feeling 100% because I gotta pay rent somehow. Um, I, I can't work a normal job because I train so often. Um, the PT stuff gets some money in. Um, it'd be great if I got more. But I just, I just can't work a normal job if I want to do this triathlon thing full-time. So I either make work full-time or triathlon full-time. And triathlon makes me happy. So it's an easy decision, that one. At the moment, most of the time it makes me happy. Sometimes I'm like, e I don't know about this. Hey, maybe I'll just take whole of summer off because every summer I, I pretty much die. There hasn't been a summer in the last three years I haven't collapsed. I haven't passed out or I haven't had heat stroke. Thursday I was meant to do a smaller brick session of a 2K ride, 400 meter run, four times. Just a, just above tempo, pretty much just above race pace. Uh, just put the body through its paces, see where it's going, but I was so tired after a bit of a, a late night, I guess. I don't remember what happened, but I decided to sleep in hang out with Michaela, have an easier day. It's race week, I was just pretty much a taper session anyway. It's not too important to miss. Um, if you're picking up on the theme here, I hope you're picking up on it and you learn from it. If you can't train, don't race. <laughs> because I'll tell you why in, in a little bit. So then had Thursday off. Friday was a rest day, so I figured I'd, I've been wanting to go down to the bioorganic farm for months. Ugi keeps inviting me down, spend some time on the farm, volunteer, see how everything works, help them out. And I figured, oh, sick, rest day, I'm not, I'm not training. I'll just head down to the farm, get up nice and early, spend, what was it, six hours at the farm, helping out, um, doing all the, get, collecting the produce. I ended up building garden above bed gardens and calluses and all man hands now from doing the, the wacky thing that you're seeing right now doing that fun I enjoyed it I don't regret it that cooked me I then had PT in the Arvo after that uh, as we're driving back 
the border conditions to cross from New South to Queensland are still getting worse. Don't even get me started on that. That's for another whole half an hour's topic. But I decided it was best if instead of crossing the border, I just did the PT back in Benora, which helped my client because they live in Benora. So we just did that, hung up my parents. We had dinner at my parents, but they had a late dinner. So I didn't get home until about 11 o'clock. Um, didn't get to bed until about 11.30, I think. Um, then I'm up early the next day. Yay, four o'clock alarm, little taper session. So it was about 20 minute bike, 10 minute run, 15 minute swim. Felt actually really good. My, my calves were quite tight, I guess. Quite, I think I was just scared a little during the taper sessions, but shit, we're right. Be fine, no worries, don't worry about it. Went down to Ultimate Sports Performance, uh, AFL Development Academy, great stuff. Uh, I've got the opportunity to help out with the running programs down there, get these AFL kids running like triathletes for two Ks. Um, it was great to mix and like see all these young kids, see the environment. It's a bunch of absolute legends. Super keen to be a part of that. So I did that for a lot of hours in the sun. And it's probably a bit too much of sun time, too much time on my legs. But then I went to P3 after it, a little bit of recovery, try and feel good for the next day, came home, fell straight asleep. I was exhausted, so, so cooked. I fell asleep on the lounge for a couple of hours. Um, then had a, a pretty chill arvo. Had a later night than I wanted. It was like 10.30. Just because Michaela and I were having dinner, having mad chats, just enjoying hanging out with each other, which is pretty much my priorities right now. It's what's making me feel happiest. Um, triathlon's always been there for me, always will be there for me, but right now I'm, I'm happy hanging out with Michaela and training's kind of still a priority, but not making me as happy all the time. So we're just taking the days that come, taking the sessions as they come, enjoying, enjoying life, focusing on being happy rather than chasing winning races. I mean, I prefer to be winning races than not winning races, but for me it's all about putting in a good performance, knowing I did my best, and that's my competition, myself. So then now we're at race morning. This is where it gets fun and funny. So, four o'clock alarm. Phone's going beep, 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 beep. I roll over, hit the alarm, and I'm like, Michaela, what's the alarm going for? Why, why did we set an alarm? Fully had no idea I was racing. I usually, whenever I hear the alarm, and I'm so not even conscious, I'm like, oh, don't wake Michaela up, boop, go back to sleep. Somehow, for some reason, I decided to ask her what the alarm was set for. She's like, oh, you're racing today? And I was like, oh. So I hit snooze, went back to sleep for 10 minutes. Got up, so tired, exhausted, the body wasn't feeling too good. Um, but chucked my suit on, had a cliff bar, rolled out, went to the toilet about six times, then I was feeling pretty good ready to race, headed down. Luckily, it's only 15 minute drive from where I am to where the race is, so that was great. Um, got there, felt pretty good, racked the bike, got everything ready, went for a, a very small little warm up, just because it was so hot already. I just went for a 10 minute run and then was dripping in sweat. Had probably dripped off all the water I drank previously, like leading up to, that, to the race in the morning. Got in the water, did not feel good. Had nothing. Did my warm up swim. Was not moving well in the water at all. I had good catch, just had no energy in my shoulders. I was just zapped, drained before we'd even started. And I was like, well, I don't know what I got in the tank, but I know I'm emptying it. Yay. By this stage, I was in the water, couldn't tell my parents and Michaela to let the Ambos know I'm coming in hot in about two hours time. Uh, did the swim. Charlie took it out hard. 
got on his feet for the first maybe 200 meters, not long, and just blew up. Blew up so hard. But my arms weren't turning over well. Um, I was already so hot and exhausted from the previous couple of days, from the morning. It was so so rough. Um, yeah, I was I was down a minute fifteen out of the swim. I shouldn't be that far behind. I, max of thirty seconds. Max of thirty seconds. I should be behind Charlie. But he's probably pumped out a, a really solid swim and I've just had a not great swim. Who knows? Didn't feel good at all. Go Trav! Rented my bike, calf and hemis were tight and I was like, it looks like I'm just swim biking today. So I just rode my bike, went pretty solid. Charlie was so far up the road, I wasn't catching him. I knew Kieran would be coming pretty close because I had a shocking swim. I usually need a really good swim and work with someone on the bike to hold him off for the run because he's a weapon biker and a great runner. Um, he caught me on the end of the first lap. Yeah, he put so much time into me so quickly, it was ridiculous. He then bridged to Charlie, got away. Fortunately, Charlie had cooked back. He's been dealing with, um, I was able to pass Charlie on the fourth fifth fourth or fifth lap um, just tipped the legs over couldn't develop any solid power had an average of like 39 point something well done, complete contrast to rugby bay but had my gels on the bike uh, I somehow I dropped my chocolate one I don't know how that happened so I had my raspberry cliff gel at start i had my citrus gel with 25 milligrams of caffeine towards the end of the run bike um drank all my water so i drank a full 75 mils on the bike got off and just figured i'd just jog kieran's so far up the road i'm not catching him he's a great runner i don't even know if there's a third competitor in our race and i was like let's just finish this thing eh Hey, so then I started to run and I actually felt okay. My calves weren't too bad, my hammies were fine, even though they were sore on the bike. Um, so I just jogged. It was the worst race performance I thought I'd probably ever put out in terms of intensity and effort. Jogged the first couple Ks and then the heat hit me at about one and a half K actually. I was walking through aid, pretty much almost walking through aid stations, grabbing about two to four drinks every aid station, getting them to throw water on me, slowing right down, just making sure I was staying hydrated because I didn't want to re injure myself. Little did I know I should have been doing that to prevent heat stroke, which I already had going into the day. 100% I was already feeling heat stroke during the swim while I was in the water, but. That spring in Australia, summer can go itself. Second the whole way I got past with <laughs> less than a K to go and just had nothing in the tank, absolutely nothing. The tank was well and truly empty. I was jogging the whole time and I was just like, this is just not my day, let's get the race done. This is not a winning performance. This is not a podium worthy performance. Just get it done, get out of here, recover decide what I'm going to do next, whether I'm going to take summer off, whether I need to go overseas and train in a cooler environment. If anyone knows anywhere that's between 10 and 20 degrees, I don't want less than 10 and I don't want more than 20 degrees, let me know and I'll be there in two weeks because it's, it's ridiculous. I, I just can't train in Australia unless it's the middle of winter. And even during the middle of winter, I was sweating buckets, climbing hills, in summer gear. So there's something going wrong with me that I just can't handle heat. I guess I'm just too hot, hey? But I finished. I didn't realize how gone I was because I was jogging. I didn't actually exert myself so hard, but the heat stroke had well and truly taken its place. I was, as you can see, 
my form was so off what I'm usually doing. It was just a Sunday jog, which is so pathetic for a race. I paid this money to enter a race. I pretty much paid what I paid in rent to enter a race. Just blown it out of the water, didn't even bother with it. Out of contention. Across the line, stopped the garment. Yeah, so Pooley Marchant was in second and third place today is gonna to go to Travis Coleman. Well done, Trav. See, saw some shade and some chairs and was like, yes. Take me there, I'm done. As I walk towards the chairs, like a, like something hitting the ground very hard. Not great. My legs gave out from underneath me. Apparently I lost consciousness. I don't remember. I just remember going, oh, a chair, and then being on the ground. <laughs> um, it said I've got quite bad heat stroke. Um, temporary loss of consciousness, they were quite worried. Everyone thought I had corona, and I was like, that doesn't exist, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, time went by. Unfortunately, I kind of forgot to warn Michaela this is something that does happen, because I haven't passed out after a race for ages. It's been over a year for sure. Probably since maybe the last Rubina event, the last hot race I did, but it's a thing that happens to me. Um, she was pretty rattled. Dad was like, yeah, he'll be right. It's what he does after a race. I was so confused as to why I hadn't exerted myself today at all. I just had nothing in the tank, went out, emptied the tank, done what I could do, passed out, finished third, day done. <sighs> Time to figure out what's coming next. Possibly Ray B. Bay in a couple of weeks if I pull up all right on Wednesday. Bit of redemption, and I will collapse then from exhaustion. Just from f sheer frustration of how shocking this race went for me. But, till next time, stay cool.